Welcome. In this video, we will talk about two different uh, uh, transformation tool merge and union all. I, me personally, always use union all. It's much easier, less convenient for me. But I will show you one simple example how you can uh, combine data from two different sources. For example, from uh, Excel file and DBA file. Uh, in on one side, we will have only data for. Uh, female employee and on the other side we will have data for, for male employee. I'll show you how you can use to, to merge those data, how you can use those, those two tools. First of all, we we'll look at our data. Here we have uh, one simple query and we select our data from uh, human risk employee and person person. Just combine to those, uh, those two tables. And we look only for female uh, employee. Another one we look only for male employee. Uh, this one we will not use from DBA. This one we will use from uh, this data from our Excel file. And it's completely the same. And you can see here that the gender is a male for all the data. Data in this Excel are not sorted in, by any column you can see here. And uh, it's it's uh, very simple to get data to Excel. It's a uh, couple of different ways, but you can simply uh, copy this data and just paste in Excel and you're already done. Um, okay, we'll go on our, our SSDT and we'll put our data flow task on our form. Double click it and uh, choose our source assistant. Source assistant. First of all, we'll choose uh, Excel source uh, type source and uh, we'll create our excel connection manager we should choose this to cho close this uh, excel file here okay just row rows for for excel data and uh, confirm that okay okay now we should choose our sheet excel sheet and uh, I'll choose this one and this first one because our data on the first sheet. You can see here that uh, data is not sorted. This data is not sorted here. Okay, everything seems fine. Now again, we will create another source assistant or uh, connection manager. We use for this one uh, SQL Server, and we'll choose our server name. Just a second. Okay and select adventure work 2012 you can test connection everything's fine uh, okay now we should use our sql command to select only female employee and okay 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 and we will do this okay first we will use union all just put you know on the form just delete this one and connect and connect you can see here that uh, everything seems fine but uh, you have one error here uh, she didn't recognize the data type from this column you need only put two and uh, you have an error and I'll show how you can fix the fix this error just uh, right click on the first source, show advanced editor and uh, input output properties. Just to find your, your file output column, of course, and you will see that uh, data type is double precision float uh, DT R8 here. And this one is probably different. Okay, just to check. Yes, uh, four byte sign integer. We should we should change this to DR8, and everything should be fine now. Double click on union all and choose business entity ID, and there is no error anymore. Okay. Uh, now we should uh, choose our destination file. We could uh, we could use uh, for example some preview like uh, preview data like. Uh, derived column or something like that, but we will uh, choose our DBA destination or we will create in, in the process uh, 
gathering or uh, gathering this data will create uh, our destination table and I will show you how again we'll create a new one and uh, select our server name and we will use uh, DW test for example and we will create our new table on uh, you can choose uh, uh, already existed table old gender those are some some fine something like that examples you, you can see here but we will create uh, a new table and we will call this table but before we continue with that you can see here on uh, DW test that we do not have that kind of table already and we'll create a new and we'll give some specific name to memorize for example example there's gender example gender seems fine okay confirm that check mappings everything is fine and we can check now here to see if this table is created example gender if we could check this if we have some data in it no it's empty it should be empty and we will now execute our SIS project and we will see what will happen now okay there is an error and I I, made, I think I know what is it, what is the error yes uh, it's a problem uh, because uh, we don't have 64 driver driver and uh, we should uh, use uh, this package run this package in 32 bit so I'll show you how we can do this just go on integration service project and uh, properties and uh, configuration properties debugging and just put uh, 60 uh, run 64 bit runtime on false and should be everything fine Let's see now Okay, everything is great. Uh, we should have a data in our table now. Yes, we have everything. It should be, and it is not sorted as you can see here. But we have a male and a female, you know. It's first uh, he put the female in our table, uh, after that, uh, just uh, um, data for male yeah, employee. So I will show you now how you can. Uh, but first, we should. We should delete our data from this uh, table since we're gonna use. We're gonna use. Okay, I think it's already deleted. But just to check. Yes. Uh, we will use a merge uh, transformation tool now. Okay, we'll delete this one and just put merge on our form here. But for a merge. Uh, for a merge transformation tool, uh, data must be sorted. So you will use uh, sort transformation here, and I will show you two different ways to sort uh, data. Uh, for a first uh, Excel source, we will use sort uh, transformation, and we will choose uh, business entity ID for our sort uh, column. Just connected and connected, it and it's okay now. Uh, if we try to connect this one, we will get an error here because it's not sorted and we do not have sort uh, transformation tool here. We could use uh, again, uh, again, also uh, like for the first source, sort uh, transformation, but uh, we'll use different way, different approach. I will show you how. Just, just sort our data first query everything is fine fine okay and then right click and show advanced editor we will uh, source output uh, we will put on uh, is sorted on true property and also for output columns for for a column which we we'll use for sorted file for sorting file we will put our sort sort gate position to one and it should be everything's fine yes everything's fine okay now just connected here yes already have a table 
it's empty it should be empty and now if we execute our our SSIS project we should get the data in our table just check yes and it is sorted as you can see here but we have 290 it seems okay okay today in this video we talk, uh, talked about uh, uh, how you can use merge transformation and how you can use union all and what is the main difference between uh, those two tools that will be all and thank you for watching